Oh, happy Halloween! Hey everybody, hope you're having a good spooky season. I spent a lot of time figuring out what to do for uh, this Halloween, and um, I couldn't fucking think of anything. But since a lot of the boys in the Discord have been tricking out the server with some sneak peeks into the games that they're working on, I thought I'd give a little bit of a, a treat. <laughs> Now, whether you're making a platformer, a top-down adventure game, or a uh, Pokemon slash Stardew Valley clone that's popular with the kids these days, you're gonna need some form of collision code. I have include my own versions for this code for Game Maker, Unity, and Pico8 in the description below. So if you want that, you can just click off. See you later. Have a great Halloween. But I gotta warn you, there is a trick. I have left a bug inside of this code. This bug is something that I have dealt with for years. And you're gonna wanna watch the rest of the video to figure out how to fix it. When I figured out the one line needed to fix this code, it changed everything. Don't worry, I'll get you on your way. You can trust me, I'm a Bulbasaur. Alright, so let's go over the basics of this code. I've pretty much used the exact same pattern, whether it's for Game Maker, Unity, Pico 8. The pattern is essentially the same. It's called the move function. All you gotta do is feed your current velocity into the function, and it'll automatically check ahead of you. Is there going to be a block? And if there is, move us incrementally until we hit that block. And if not, we just move the player normally. And we do this check for each axis. X, Y, maybe a little Z, a greedy little ghoul you. Very simple. In the Game Maker and the Pico version, we're checking pixels. In the Unity version, we're doing ray cast, which is essentially just shooting a ray towards a polygon, seeing if we hit something. I usually like to make a variable called amount to move X or amount to move Y and feed that into the move function. And that'll get you started for anything, all right? Now paste it in the code, just just as is, is gonna work just fine. X collisions are perfect, Y collisions are perfect. But what about diagonal collisions? Now, if we take our little blippy boy and move him right into the corner of this block, Oh no, maybe we can do a diagonal ray into it. It works sometimes, but it's not perfect. And when you're making a platformer, you kind of want the platforming to be um, good. My ex-wife said she couldn't respect a man who couldn't write functional collision code. Now, I promised you, there's a one line fix for this. In fact, you might even consider it a zero line fix for this. I'm not gonna say give up, not this time. All you gotta do is move this line of code below this line. That's it. I know. I feel stupid, but it took me so long. It took I'm not even joking. It took me years. It took me a long time. I'm not proud of it. You think this is easy for me? Most of you probably know what's going on. When the code is set up like this, where we do our collision checks before we apply the movement, we're not giving our player object the most accurate information. We check that X, there's nothing there. We check that Y, nothing there. Good to move. Let's move both on X and Y. Bam! You're grim deep in some pointy cubage. When something is diagonally from us, we're not gonna see it. However, if we do those one at a time, we will always check those uh, corner cases. <laughs> check the X. Is there something there? Move. Now we check the Y and our block is in sight. Take him out. Now, sure, this is gonna favor one axis over another. For a platformer though, this could actually be a good thing. When in doubt, the player will always land on the platform if they hit a corner, instead of falling to their untimely demise. Spooky. It's, it's Halloween. It's Halloween, I can make, I can say. It may sound dramatic, but this really did change my life. It made me understand code a little bit better than I already did, that the order really does matter. I don't have collision problems anymore. It's not an addy thing. And if you point it out, I'm gonna ignore it and pretend like it's not there. You think you're better than me? Shut up. I hope that this is helpful to any new game developers. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.